Welcome, Collective. I'm back, y'all, with another video. So, listen, lately I've been waking up and these thoughts have just been like I'm getting these downloads and they're coming back to back, 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 guys. Y'all got a copycat energy around y'all. I don't know who it is. We're going to find out more about this this person. But y'all got some copycat energy. Like, they literally copy every single thing that you do. They don't even put no twist to it. They don't even put their own twist to it. They copy every... They copy every single thing that you do. Every move that you make. They sit here copying you. It's like no origin, no originality, um, none of that. They they literally want to be you. Literally, they literally want to be you. It's it's rather sad. <laughs> it's rather sad, okay, because they don't know how to be themselves, okay. All they know is. I like what she's doing. I like how she's doing it. I'm going to steal that from her. I'm going to steal her personality. I'm going to steal his swag. This is all that they know. And it's sad. Okay. I feel like you could be woke, okay? You, Your third eye could be, you could just be beginning the journey. You could just be, you could be further along with your journey. This person is trying to find a way to, to be just like you, okay? This person is trying to find a way to, uh, it's, I feel like it's your charm. I feel like you're extremely charming. You're persuasive. You got it going on. Like, I just feel like you can sell sand to the beach. Like, you have the, you have a gift, okay? This person, they want to... This person, they got potential. I'm going to say that. They got potential. But it's not fully developed yet it's not developed at all they just got potential they don't really know how to put it into perspective they don't know what to do with the energy they don't know what to do with their potential they just don't know okay i feel like a lot of y'all are you know self-enterprising y'all adventurous y'all don't go by the, the rules y'all make your own rules you got your own individual, own individual uh, swag about yourself. You got your own individual thing going on about yourself. This person, they don't know themselves. They don't know themselves. I feel like a lot of y'all have been on a spiritual journey. You're very well informed. You're very self-aware. This is you're living in your truth, okay? Because you got true reality. You're living in your truth. You can't help that you just got these certain gifts and qualities about yourself. You can't help that you can, I'm telling you, sell sand to the beach. This person, they have the potential to be something great, to be something big, to do something great in their lives. But instead of them working on their energy working on what it is that they want to accomplish working on what would make them you know top notch what would make them um the best them they over here looking at you watching how you do it looking all in your pots sitting there taking notes We gonna find out more about this person. 
because I don't, I don't be like me. <laughs> really, truthfully, I don't, I don't, I don't like that type of energy because I feel like everybody has something that's special about them. They, I mean, everybody. And I also do feel like everybody gets pieces and bits from other people. Okay, because there's such thing as inspiration, but to copy somebody's whole life, that's just weird. That's just weird, <laughs> you know, weird. This person. Like I said, they have potential. They do. They have potential. They have potential. But what are they doing with it? Where are they focusing their energy? Where are they focusing their energy? All right, tell me about this person. Show me this person. You know what? I'm gonna start off with the Kipper first. Let's get let's get some some information from the Kipper. From the Kipper dad. Cause I wanna know this person's intentions. Like why? Who? Let's find out more information so we can get to who this person is and what are their intentions. Is it admiration? Is it Jealousy is the envy. Yes, this person false as hell. Okay, it's definitely a false person. They are trying to copy you. They're trying to copy you. They're trying to be just like you. Trying to be just like you. They want to be just like you. Even though for you that's a compliment, it still could be dangerous. Because people, I, I just don't like that. It's like, dang, you were willing to steal somebody's whole identity. Like, you fraud. All right, so I feel like this person, this person is doing this over a man. It seems like this man is a little older. It seems like he could be like in his late twenties, um, late twenties to late fit, you know, in thirty late 20s to like 50s okay could even be a little older this is a lover okay so for some of y'all i feel like this has something to do with uh, a karmic i feel like this is a karmic who is pretending to be you she's got some type of message of concern she got some type of message of concern from from this masculine Here's this man again, main male. And we got a wealthy man right here too in sudden wealth. I feel like with toil and labor here, she got some a message of concern of things that she needs to work on in order for this, this man right here to feel like he hit the jackpot with being with her. Okay. That's what this is about. So now she's definitely taking notes. She's taking notes. She is taking notes. But that's weird. Because if if she is determined, then why is she worried about the ex? Obviously, the ex is the ex for a reason. Right? So I'm going to talk to y'all All right, let's see. This person is weird. Okay. So now we know that it's a karmic. Why is this karmic copying the divine feminine? What is the reason? What's the reason behind it? Yeah, the three of cups that jumped. All right. 
All right, this karmic knows that she got to be quick on her toes, okay? She's under some type of stress. She feels like she has to come up with something to impress this masculine. This masculine right here, King of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, is not impressed. He's not. He is not impressed. <laughs> Let me tell you, he not. I'm telling you, she she knows that she has to come up with something quick because she is she's stressing. She's sitting here spying on you. She's been spying on you. Okay, she's been spying on you, and she knows that with everything that you come up with, you hitting, you hitting it, you hitting it, you hitting it like it's on point, it's on point. Okay, so she thinks that you know she needs to step her game up. Either way, to impress this masculine, because this masculine is not impressed. Okay, he's not impressed. He's not. It's not impressed. <laughs> All right, so this is a battle of this is a battle of who can impress. I mean, she's battling with herself. I don't even feel like you even are, are aware of this. Some of y'all may be aware of this. Some of y'all might not even not know that this person is watching you like that. She's getting together talking to her friends about it. She's trying to find out things about your past too. Like what were y'all into? What type of things were you into? What type of things did you do? How did you get how did you get to where you are? Okay, she wants to know the background story. She wants to know how did you get to where you are now? So obviously the divine feminists have stepped into their glory and has leveled up. Okay. This karmic wants to know how. Give me the background story. Talk about it, please. Yeah, look at this outcome. The outcome is the five of swords. So she's definitely feeling defeated, definitely feeling very competitive, definitely feeling real petty. She's doing anything. This is doing anything that she got to do to be able to keep up with you. I'm hearing y'all 10 steps ahead of her. Naturally. Naturally. Yep. Mm hmm See, see, she's trying to be the best choice, the better choice for this masculine. Mm-hmm. So she knows that she she has to come up with something. Out of the blue. Like that, she she's trying to figure out how you can just come up with stuff out of the blue like that. Some of y'all are uh, entrepreneurs, um, and you started a business. You're moving up in a company. You're um, showing more of your lifestyle. Like you're on a roll. I'm hearing you're on a roll. Whatever you're choosing to show to the public and to the world. It looks like you you are just chugging along and you keeping it going and keeping going and strong. You keep it going strong, okay? They're like there's no inconsistencies. It's no it's no flaws. And if there are flaws, you don't present that. You don't put that out as like a L. If it is a flaw, it gets resolved. It gets fixed. This person is trying to figure out how do you keep coming up? How you keep coming up with stuff? How? Because I feel like this masculine is looking at that she's either bringing this information to this masculine or this masculine is bringing this information to her like i thought you could keep up yes this this karmic is tired of feeling regretful She's like, look, this relationship kind of toxic. See, she she jumped in this connection thinking that it was going to be easy. It ain't. It ain't. 
It ain't. <laughs> Why is the five of cups here? Yeah, she's tired of feeling regretful. She's trying to figure out who you getting tips from. Like who who inspires you? Who inspires you? God. <laughs> my ancestors. <laughs> my spirit guides. My angels. <laughs> See, it just go like that when you divine. When you got divine energy. Okay? When you chosen. Why is the three of cups here? She's sitting up here gossiping with her friends. Why is the three of cups here? Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, everything is about this masculine. This 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 um energy is obsessed with this masculine energy, y'all. I'm talking about obsessed. Do you hear me? Obsessed. Like everything is done for a man. Okay. Why is the ex of swords here? Yep. That masculine keeps talking about it. Or she's talking about it to that masculine. Like I said. They having conversations about the divine feminine. She's afraid that this masculine is going to leave her by herself because she feels like this masculine only is with her for the attention anyway. See, so he wants the attention of the connection. She feels like he wants to go back and forth all the time and she feels like she's going to get dropped. So he got her working like a little hamster. Why is the king of swords here? Yeah, I'm hearing somebody saying it seems like it's like it's like I'm rushing. Maybe I should have planned it out better. I tell you, they're taking notes. They're taking notes. Tell me about this higher friend. It could be a Taurus. I'm getting this masculine. It could be a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, or a King of Cups. It could be any sign for that matter. Somebody could be married. What is this? The four one. I'm sorry, the higher friend and the justice. Somebody could be like legally married. Okay. So so either someone's married or they have some type of they have some type of agreement. Her and this masculine has some type of agreement. But I feel like this masculine making her feel like it's too much and that she needs to slow things down. Like she needs to slow things down. Cause she trying to she trying her hardest to keep up with the divine women. But I just think that she's having a hard time pulling this off. I think they have some type of agreement. Why is the justice in a higher being? No. I feel like for some, this masculine is married. And she is on the side. So that's why she's spying on you. That's why she's watching you like that. She could be waiting for this masculine to get a divorce. Cause she feels like she feels like she's gonna be afraid 
she could be waiting for this masculine to leave the home or leave completely, get out of some type of agreement. I feel like you you and this masculine could have like some type of agreement. You and the masculine could have some type of agreement. But her and masculine got an agreement. Uh, it looks like too. I'm here and I can't take it no more. Why well, is the ten of swords here? Two of wands, yeah, okay. I'm hearing you should have been dead. You should have been dead there. You know how she was coming. She's worried that this masculine going to run back to this uh, situation. She feels like masculine is going to run off. I'm hearing you know this day was coming. You should have thought about it. She's worried that this masculine is returning. So this is why she feels so much pressure. Why is the two of wands here? Yeah, she says, start planning to end this relationship. Start planning to end this marriage. Start planning to end this agreement that you got with this uh, divine feminine. For some of y'all, it's an agreement. Just y'all two have some type of agreement. Y'all two still could have some type of ties to each other. She more masculine to cut them ties off, okay? So we got this king of cups over here. You feel like, wow, she's, she's, she's stuck. May feel like she's weird, okay? Um, you like, yeah, I thought that chapter was over. No, it ain't. It's over, and, and y'all could feel like, yeah, it, it ain't nothing. But this Carmen is studying the hell out of y'all. Didn't I tell you? This person does not want to see you does not want to see that masculine run back to you. Because she's going to be heartbroken. She's going to be hurt. Because she says it's taking too long. She's saying it's taking too long. She's telling this masculine it's taking you too long to get out of this agreement. It's taking you too long to leave this situation. Why is the five of swords here? She is insecure. And the more that this... Um, Carmen puts pressure on this masculine, I feel like it's making the situation worse. Yeah. Because she is upset. She's upset. It's, she says it's making her upset. You're making her upset. <laughs> because it, it, to her, it's making it seem like you're better. It's like you're making it seem like you're better than her. And it's pissing her off. She is trying to figure out what caused the shakeup between you and the masculine. She's trying to figure out what caused this uh, tower moment in you guys' life, so she can, so she could try to make sure, like, okay, well, I'm gonna make sure that I don't make that same mistake. But if you're not saying nothing, if she don't have no way to, she just gotta go whatever the masculine tell her, you know. That's the message that I got. Y'all need to make sure. I feel like y'all are already handling the situation properly. I don't see. I, I see her being very frazzled, being very frustrated, being feeling very, you know, like she can't win. She's trying to put pressure on the masculine to make moves and try to leave you out in the cold or leave you stranded so she can feel better about herself. She wants the masculine to crush you for her because she's feeling like she can't do it, but she feels like the masculine can for whatever reason. Some of y'all, it ain't even no pressure behind this dude. Y'all let me know what's going on in the conversation below. I'm going to chat with y'all later.